hey guys so our next topic is project settings this will be our 26th topic so what is project settings and what are the key points you must know before you appear for the exam i'm going to let you know in this video now how do you open project settings you have to hit on project and then there's an option here hit on the settings button and you get the project settings if you give it a close look in the project settings the project settings has got different activity settings so the number of packages that you have used for example here in this a uh, project i am using excel activities i am using mail activities i am using pdf i am using system activities and different categories of those are available in the project settings so you can define how the activity belongs to a given category would behave okay so here for example let's say i would like to set some activity property uh, for let's say ui automation um, classic okay because your exam questions will be mostly on classic so let me select ui automation classic now what is important here to know your project settings are categorized in two different ways one is run value and debug value so what is this let me explain let's say here in delay before by default the run value is let's say 200 let's say let me make it to 300 okay just to bring it a difference so run value is 300 debug value is 200 so what is the meaning that means if i am using an activity let's say click activity so the click activity by default when you run it it's going to wait for 0.3 seconds and is going to wait for 0.2 seconds when you debug it okay this understanding should be there so what is this run and debug you have two different options right you can either run it or debug it so when you debug it it will wait for 2.2 seconds and is going to wait for 0.3 seconds okay because 1000 millisecond would be your 1 second right so likewise if i am writing 3000 millisecond means 3 seconds okay so th this must be clear run value and debug value okay so based on this this will work another important point let's say let me start with a very simple like so this one you have understood let me hit on okay so what would happen this is going to save the settings when i am going to run the project it will wait for delay before is 3 seconds and when i'm going to debug it that time it is going to 0.2 seconds i mean 0.3 and 0.2 seconds okay so how this one is working let's have a quick look okay um okay for this let's use a simple click activity click and i am going to drag and drop the classic click activity okay so here in the property panel if you see there is something delay before if i am leaving this blank then if i am going to debug it if i am going to debug it then how many seconds 0.2 seconds is going to wait before it executes this activity because delay before if i am going to run it right if i am going to run file or run the entire project then it's going to wait for 0.3 seconds before it could before, delay before executing this activity okay now if i am going to write something over here let's say i am going to write uh, 3000 so which one will work the project settings will work or the activity settings is going to work activity settings so remember this is very important even the project setting is there at the activity level at the activity property if you are mentioning something this will take priority okay not the project settings if you are leaving it blank then that will take priority i mean and because this is not here so that will take the priority so getting it so this understanding should be first clear for example let me give you one more example for your understanding let's say i am going to use another activity let's say open browser activity let me see how many of you can answer this so open browser activity i have dragged and dropped now in this open browser activity by default there is no property i have set i'll go to project settings and i want all the uh, open browser activities should open in uh, google chrome okay so for that i will go for ui automation classic and uh, there is something called browser i will select this and here uh, by default will be i so let me select chrome uh, in debug and even when it runs it should also use chrome so both the things chrome should open okay anytime i am using so depending on your choice it is going to behave so here i am giving chrome chrome two times here now tell me if i leave this open browser activity as it is okay so i'm not mentioning here if i am going to 
leave this activity as it is and I'm not going to select any browser type here and leave it blank. So how it, which browser will open by default? Chrome will open. But if I'm going to select, uh, let's say uh, I'm going to select Edge. So what would happen because I have selected Edge here, even though the run value and the debug value are set to Chrome, it is always going to open Edge because this will take priority. Okay, this much, this is an important point. Now let's move on to our documentation. Okay, so this is uh, this particular link. You can get it. Okay, simply type project settings UAPA docs on Google. You will get it. If not, look for the um, link in the description. Okay. So project settings. Okay. So now in this one, what are the important points? Then we are going to answer a question. Okay. So let's see. Here the important point: activity project settings represent a set of changes that can be configured at the project level and applied to all activities part of the project dependencies okay okay this is the important point now the very important point there are two different sets one is run and debug you can set two different values one is the run value and the debug value separately or you can keep it same but there are two different uh, one is the production value or debug value or you can call it run value and debug value okay remember these two terms okay then the important point that i have highlighted so, um, in this way of the same activity okay specific settings are applied when project is run while different set of settings are applied during debug depending on your values if you are debugging this sets of value will be applied and if you are running this set of values are will be applied okay this this should be pretty clear in your mind another point which i said when you have something set in the activity label for example, the open browser activity, okay, this, this is the same above example of this one, how this will work if you are not setting up any value in the activity. If you set some value, look at this, I have highlighted this. If in the same project, one activity has the browser type property set to Chrome in its properties panel, then the value set in the panel overrides any other value configured in the activity project settings. Okay, run value, debug, everything is going to, you know, overwrite. It's going to only take the precedence of the property panel okay this is important point one more important point i'm going to show you activity project settings are not taken into account during runtime or debugging if the dot settings folder is renamed or deleted were you aware of this what is this dot settings folder if you go to ui path go to projects there is something called dot settings folder if you are renaming or deleting then the all those project settings won't be applied Okay, these are the important points. You can go through the entire documentation and if you find something more, more important, then you can definitely highlight and understand them. Okay, guys, so I feel these are the important points around project settings. If I come across anything else, I would definitely let you know. But thank you. Let's move on to our next topic.